so we were seeing the groups toolbar after seeing how to use the drop elements option and create complex chain let us now go for create complex shape option now suppose I have drawn a smart line over here in this way and I did not close this now go with right click and leave it as it is it's an open profile right now next we'll choose the option called create complex shape when I select this and the method as manual I'm going to select each and every line after selecting all the lines then over here go with accepting it and right click that is left click and then right click accept and then reset now when you choose this you will see that not only that all the elements have been combined together into one but also the open loop has been converted into a closed loop this line we got it when you go with the shape option unlike this if you go with create complex change suppose I draw again over here an open loop in this way right click and now I'll select create complex chain option select all the lines and then left click outside and then right click that is accept and reset now when you check it they will be joined together but it will not be closed that's the difference between create complex chain and create complex shape in complex shape we'll be able to convert it into a closed loop and not only that we'll also be able to provide some color over there now let me go with right click create complex shape you can go with the area filling options as well now instead of each time selecting all the lines manually you can go with the method as automatic as well click on automatic and now when you click on one line and then left click outside anywhere in the screen all the lines will be selected you can even go with the fill type as opaque and choose some color left click and in this way the color has been added right. sorry the color was white uh, whereas over here instead of by level you need to select the color so I'll draw this this time over here right now when you're drawing it in this way right click select create complex shape solid opaque automatic method of selection select any one element left click and accept in this way it is going to be filled completely with whatever color we choose over here okay right the first time it g came in white color because by default the attributes we had selected it to white color right okay that is about your create complex shape option right click create complex shape automatic select this and left click left click and right click in order to accept it that is your complex shape therefore whatever objects you select select all delete suppose you have a rectangle in this way let me choose this fill type to none and attributes to by level okay now after having created this rectangle if you select it the entire rectangle is getting selected go with drop elements select lines and strings click on this rectangle and left click outside now when you select each line will be behaving like a single entity you can move these lines as well in this way undo undo again right. now it's a closed entity I'll break it again and now if I want to join it I can go with the create complex chain option manual instead of the manual I'm going with automatic select this left click and left click again to accept it can see that the entire object is getting selected at once okay now let us next proceed towards the next option which is create region this option is again used similar to your boolean operations we saw it over here select this you can go with intersection union difference and flood 
select intersection option select this and select this then left click outside and right click now you can see that a region is created that is a closed loop is created based on the selection you have made over here in the method intersection union difference or flood these options we have already seen in hatches and patterns the same comes over here that is you are going to get the common portion between the two objects if you do not want this if you want to have both of them overlapping each other that is I have this and this right click select this I can go with the keep original option after which when I click on this and left click on this again then go with outside left clicking and right clicking that is accept and reset now you can move it you can select this rectangle and go with the move option and you can move it in this way you can move this option this object as well in this way you can see that when you go with the keep original option the intersecting portion will also come as well as the original entities do not get disturbed or trimmed off earlier when trim uh, keep original was deselected was unchecked the existing entities were being modified if you enable keep original the existing entities will not be modified they will remain as it is one more copy will be generated based on the type of method you select over here intersection union difference or flood select it over here select this this time let us go with union I'll remove keep original select this select this and left click right click to uh, reset it in this way you can go with the union option I'll go with undo let us go with the difference select this then select this left click right click that is the difference option undo again and last one is the flood select these two points over here and right click outside in this way you will be obtaining the flood all right let us now go for the next option add to graphic group first let me select everything and delete it choose the line option and in order to go towards the origin I'll type in over here 0 0 enter 0 enter after which I'll specify over here 10 enter and y value I'm going to specify 0 enter left click right click now go with fit view this is the axis pan it over here ok now so far whenever we were trying to use these tools such as move modify copy move parallel scale etc all those objects all those tools we were using if you wanted to use any of them a number of times that is if I want to provide or if I want to carry out the move operation on say five of these objects then I would first have to select them this completes four Con press on control button select this now five of them are selected now go with move select it and move it over here in this way they will be moved and do again and now this is the move option instead of using that that is instead of selecting them individually I can go over here and select add to graphic group select this select this circle this circle this circle and then go with left click and right click ok now when I go with the move option even now 
when I choose move option and select this object and try to move it the just the single object is moving this is because of the reason that right now over here under the locks option you need to enable the graphic group lock when you select this and then try to go ahead with the moving you can see that all the three objects are now moving at a time I'll go with again add to graphic group option select this and I'm going to add all the rectangles into a single graphic group then go with left click and right click go with the move option select this and now when you move all the objects at a time are going to move or at a time are going to be rotated or mirrored etc whatever option you choose over here can be performed to a number of objects which have been added to a graphic group right. if you want them to be deleted from the graphic group select this and click on any of the elements of the graphic group the entire graphic groups gets selected left click again outside the screen now I'll go with move and try to move this object each object is going to move separately this time in this way you can drop from the graphic group as well select drop from I'll go with move and right now when I move this all the three circles are moving together select this select this then left click outside now go with the move and try to move the circle each circle will be moving separately that is your delete from graphic group option the next option over here is group whole that is when you have whole objects selected right now by default always the objects are created in solid mode if you go with the whole mode you can add them to a graphic group as well I'm creating these rectangles over here okay select group whole select this select this select this select this. then left click and right click again now I'll go with the move option again and select this all the objects that are together created into the into the form that is the fill type as whole are going to move together or are going to be added into a single graphic group that is your groups option groups toolbar we we'll close this toolbar over here I'm stopping the session